Nothing beats a buck and a duck. So here's 10 trivia questions on famous ducks. Let's get it. The Quack Attack is back, Jack, with another episode of No Chit Chat Trivia, the trivia podcast with less talk and more trivia. Nothing beats a buck and a duck is, of course, an iconic line from the film The Little Rascals that's celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. And that line is said by the character Woim, who is actually played by a buddy of mine, Blake. So shout out to Blake and happy 30th anniversary to the Little Rascals crew. Today's theme of famous Miss Ducks is pretty self-explanatory, so let's just jump right into the fun. The first question on Famous Ducks is what 1992 sports comedy drama film about a youth league hockey team stars Emilio Estevez? What 1992 sports comedy drama film about a youth league hockey team stars Emilio Estevez? Question number two, created by animators Tex Avery and Bob Clampett, what iconic Looney Tunes character debuted in the 1937 cartoon entitled Porky's Duck Hunt? Created by animators Tex Avery and Bob Clampett, what iconic Looney Tunes character debuted in the 1937 cartoon entitled Porky's Duck Hunt? Number three, debuting in 1999, what insurance company became more widely recognized in the United States as the result of TV commercials featuring their new duck mascot? Debuting in 1999, what insurance company became more widely recognized in the United States as the result of TV commercials featuring their new duck mascot? Question number four, what character does actor Seth Green provide the voice for in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? What character does actor Seth Green provide the voice for in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Number five, in a 90s animated series, what is the crime-fighting alter ego of an ordinary suburban duck named Drake Mallard? In a 90s animated series, what is the crime-fighting alter ego of an ordinary suburban duck named Drake Mallard? Question number six, in what 80s film can you find a character played by John Cryer that is known as Ducky? In what 80s film can you find a character played by John Cryer that is known as Ducky? Our seventh question is, who is Donald Duck's girlfriend? Who is Donald Duck's girlfriend? Question number eight, if it has wings, I can crash it is the motto for what DuckTales character, one who has been Scrooge McDuck's pilot since his early youth? If it has wings, I can crash it is the motto for what DuckTales character, one who has been Scrooge McDuck's pilot since his early youth? Number nine, what reality television series aired on A&E from 2012 to 2017 and portrays the lives of the Robertson family? What reality television series aired on A&E from 2012 to 2017 and portrays the lives of the Robertson family? And question number 10, Jason Alexander voices a widowed, lewd, self-hating, egocentric, anthropomorphic duck who works as a private detective in what 90s animated sitcom? 
Jason Alexander voices a widowed, lewd, self-hating, egocentric, anthropomorphic duck who works as a private detective in what 90s animated sitcom? Those were our 10 questions on Famous Ducks. We'll be right back to see if you knew those famous quackers. Good taste is easy to spot, but hard to pin down. You know it when you see it. And in today's culture, there's no greater signifier of taste than the car you drive. You want something sophisticated, but not stodgy. Daring, yet classic. Approachable, but with an air of opulence. It may sound like a rare find, because it is. And it perfectly describes the Range Rover Evoque. Drive a statement piece with pure presence. The Evoque is charisma in motion. This luxury SUV is artfully crafted and designed to stand out, and the reductive exterior is an elegant expression of Range Rover DNA. With clean lines, the minimalist design speaks for itself. The chiseled taillights give it a sense of motion, even at standstill. You'll find quality materials and solid craftsmanship at every turn, and you can curate your interior with a variety of distinct themes and trim finishes. It's an elevated drive for elevated lives. Explore the Range Rover Evoque at LandRoverUSA.com. Welcome back. Getting into our answers. Our first question was, what 1992 sports comedy drama film about a youth league hockey team stars Emilio Estevez? This is a beloved franchise. It started here in 1992 in the film The Mighty Ducks. The Mighty Ducks. Number two, created by animators Tex Avery and Bob Clampett, what iconic Looney Tunes character debuted in the 1937 cartoon entitled Porky's Duck Hunt? That iconic Looney Tunes character is Daffy Duck. Daffy Duck. Question number three, debuting in 1999, what insurance company became more widely recognized in the United States as the result of TV commercials featuring their new duck mascot? That insurance company is Aflac. Aflac. Number four, what character does actor Seth Green provide the voice for in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? This character has popped up in a couple Guardians of the Galaxy films and also in Avengers Endgame. He is Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. Question number five, in a 90s animated series, what is the crime-fighting alter ego of an ordinary suburban duck named Drake Mallard? When you're in trouble, call DW Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck. Number six, in what 80s film can you find a character played by John Cryer that is known as Ducky? John Cryer's character, Philip F. Dale, is best known as Ducky in the film Pretty in Pink. Pretty in Pink. Question number seven, who is Donald Duck's girlfriend? Donald Duck's ride or die is Daisy Duck. Daisy Duck. Number eight, if it has wings, I can crash it, is the motto for what DuckTales character, one who has been Scrooge McDuck's pilot since his early youth? This DuckTales pilot is Launchpad McQuack. Launchpad McQuack. Question number nine, what reality television series aired on A&E from 2012 to 2017 and portrays the lives of the Robertson family? I remember this show being pretty popular during that time. It is called Duck Dynasty. Duck Dynasty. And our final one today, number 10, Jason Alexander voices a widowed, lewd, self-hating, egocentric, anthropomorphic duck who works as a private detective in what 90s animated sitcom? This 90s show is called Duckman. Duckman. Hope you had fun. Hope you share this episode with the duck lover in your life. And I hope you join us next time here on No Chit Chat Trivia. Bye, guys. Bingo. All right, Phil, we're we're recording now, so it's live. Go ahead. Pick on me the way that you want to. Did I say that? (laughs) 
I wouldn't yeah. say that to my son. Man, I mean, come on, man. Just go. This isn't CBS. All right, be quiet for a few seconds. Why would people want to listen to the Sims Complete podcast? Well, a couple things. One, if you like to see sons pick on their father, this might be the place. If you want to see a place where the father just kicks the <laughs> out of his son, this will be the place. How, what do you like about it, Matt? Ditto. Father-son dynamic duo talking about the game of football that we love and share and appreciate together. And, you know, hey, it's an extension of what we did, right? Growing up, I, I was able to watch my father play football, then obviously watch him as a broadcaster. And then he taught me the game of football and share the wisdom that he learned throughout his playing career. And, wow. uh, you know, hey, sometimes we're full of it and sometimes we we actually know a thing or two. Well, we do do a lot of research. At least I do. I, you, you're a little spotty, but, you know, you're, you hang in there. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. I love doing this and it's been awesome. Sims Complete. Check us out wherever your podcasts are available on the Believe Network. Appreciate it. See ya.